Hello, hello. This is Jilly Bling. How are you today? I have a project I'd love to share with you using this stamp set. And I don't know how to pronounce it. And I don't know if I could get away with not pronouncing it. Batik? Boutique? Maybe? And it is a bundle and it comes with dies. The dies are a lot of fun. Not quite sure what to do with them yet. I did try making this project and I, I, I don't know. I, I don't like it. Okay, but I did make this project and I like it. Maybe because it has pink flowers. I like pink. Real simple. And then I made this one. I know quite a few people like purple. Lots of coloring, but I like coloring. But you could do it with any color flowers you like. But in the catalog, on page 114, Look at these colors, isn't that fun? It's kind of Scandinavian looking. So I wanna do something like that today. And um, I'd like to use, One Happy Family is a regular stamp set. These two stamp sets, Many Happenings and Many Messages, is a little bit different. It comes with a one die that will cut out all of these are at reduced size, so it won't fit. But it will cut out all of these different phrases. And, let's see, I could show you on here. See how it cuts out all of these pieces? And I was a bit hesitant to get this stamp set um, when it was introduced in the um, mini catalog that's about to go out, the, what is it, January through June catalog just because I felt it was kind of holding me back. If I wanted to put this on the inside of a card, I would have to stamp the whole thing. And then I heard people saying, well, if you stamp the whole thing, you could just tuck these in a little, um, like a little Ziploc bag, and then you'll have all these words ready to use next time, which is true. And then I saw someone else who was thinking the same way I was, and she's gonna have her husband cut each of these dies out separately. Um, I guess he has metalworking equipment, and I don't know about that, but I did cut apart all the words on one of the sets, and then you could put the words into whatever little die you'd like. You could still do this um, today. We'll do that. Um, use a different die rather than the one that's intended for it to fit into. But these two stamp sets both work with this one die. And we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so let's make the Scandinavian type flower like this right here. Okay, stuff, stuff, stuff everywhere. Um, I have a pair of scissors I dedicate to cutting the stamp like this, cutting the rubber because there's adhesive connecting everything and it makes your scissors really sticky. And these are some good strong scissors, but I'll show you a little bit. Well, here, I could show you right now. If you were wanting, hold on, let me back up a bit. So this stamp set, I cut all apart. So originally it looked like this and I cut it apart. So on some of these, you know, if you were to stamp this, you know you would get ink on that edge so if you take a pair of scissors and stay away from the artwork, these scissors work great to kind of trim it a bit. And you could do this with any of your stamps, but some of these are looking a little bit ugly. They work really good. Like that corner right there. I know that that would get in the ink pad and it would be on my paper. So that's how you trim stamps, if ever you need to. Okay. Back on track here. So for this card, there is this die, which is in, um, I think it is, Stitch so sweetly, and I'm going to make three of this rectangular shape, which will be for right back here. So 
So I have those three. This will be inside paper. Hold on. Let's get this. Let the, let's get this card started. Let's get the party started. Okay, base paper, thick, basic white paper. This is going to be on here. Or that one could be on the inside. I'm going to texture this using the painted texture embossing folder. So that will go. Is there a right side up or down? I don't know. That will go right here. So I could stick that on. I think my adhesive is about to run out. I just ordered some of the Stampin' Up. Yep. Well, okay, don't be blinded. Okay, so that will go on the card front. And then next will be these rectangles. I know it's a big gadget, but it works well. Okay, and so to line these up, to put them on here, I'm not going to put them down too hard right now. Just kind of place them where I think they're going to go. Looking at this one, I could see how much of a gap is on the side, and I'm trying to center it. I'm going to do the same with this one. And you could tell I'm not really pushing them down. And then I'll put the middle one last. I'll place that just like that so now when I look at this maybe that black paper can help out maybe just to help to see how centered it is to me that's looking pretty good so I might need to shift over a little bit and you know what if it isn't perfect once you put the pretty flower on it um, your eye won't be drawn to imperfections. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so now I'm gonna really stick them down. Okay, so next I need some flowers. So like I said, I wanna do these, here's a die. Um, and I'm gonna do them a little bit different this time. I'm gonna use, instead of um, Memento ink and coloring it with the blends, I'm gonna use Pacific Point, Pear Pizzazz, and Crush Curry. So I'm going to start out with Pacific Point and use this flower. And the ones I um, colored using the blends, I hand cut those and it's got a tiny little border which is really nice. But when it came to this one, I was like, okay, let me try that dye. The dye works perfectly. That one's smeared. So using the dye is a good, good option. Okay, so just make sure I get the right one. Okay, and then the next step, I used Crush Curry. And in this stamp set. Here's the flower. Right over here fills in the flower and this fills in the leaves. Those all go with this one. These two go together. These go together. This fills in that. Leaves fill in leaves. So right now we'll do crushed curry and then the leaves in pear. Okay, so here's a stamp and I need just three of them. So to line it up, line up the dot at the bottom and then that very center little piece. Just like that. Okay, and I need just three of them. And then add the green 
And on these flowers, the green just goes on the lower leaf. That's part of their plan. And when I'm lining it up, I'm lining up the two outside edges and the inside just naturally fits. And if you don't get it perfect, that's okay. You probably won't notice once you get the whole top done that it's not perfect. Okay, so the flowers are done. Now I'm gonna use the dye. And I have a piece of washi tape on it. I just don't want it to shift. And when you're using washi tape, if possible, have the washi tape go to the outside of your stamped image because sometimes it pulls up the paper where you just stamped and it kind of ruins all the work you just did. So I'm gonna cut out three of these. Just like that. And put them on with dimensionals, mini dimensionals, and I'm going to have the flower stem be right at the bottom of the rectangle and it'll come up over the top. Oop, I didn't take the paper off of that one. It'll come up over the top of the rectangle, which is fine. And I'm going to glue down that little stem in just a minute. Just to touch a little dot of glue will hold it down. Right in the middle. And then they're all lined up perfectly. And then a little bit of glue. So at first I'll just put a thin little bit of glue. If you put too much, you just have to wait for it to dry. If you put just a little bit, it dries quick. Let that start to soak into the paper. And then for the words, I'll put something on it to hold it down. Put a dirty stamp on it. Okay, so for the words, I want to use I'm going to just set it here. Friends forever, and the world needs more people like you. So I have these strips of paper, and you could do it in color, but I'm going to do it in memento. So I will ink up this one right here, friends, friends forever. And then, just knowing where the sticker shows that the rubber will hit the paper, and the paper is big enough, put some good pressure on that, well, there it is. And it's fine if you get the words next to it, because we'll chop that off when we use the die. Okay, and then the next one is, the world needs more people like you, that one there at the bottom, that's this one. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier, but not hard. It's a little cumbersome to hold the big stamp. So, knowing where the paper is over here and over here, that's right in the middle. So, just hoping, oh, oh I think I just got ink on that. Okay, there it is. 
big stamp. So now when it comes to cutting these out, here is the one die that does everything. I'm going to turn it over and I think they intended that it would go into here, but we can use any one. Like that's kind of cute how that fits. Let's use this one right here. Okay, so I'll flip it over, get it into place. Use washi tape to hold it in place. Okay, so I'm going to run that through my machine. And there it is. And then I'll do the same process with, like we don't need this much paper. We'll do the same process with the next one. See which one fits. How big of words you want. What shape you like. That one looks good. Ooh, that one fits really good. Let's do this one right down here. So get it into place, get it straight. Use your washi tape to hold it in place. Okay, run it through. And there it is. Okay. And then this just gets attached to the front. Oh, I kind of like it right there. Okay, so dimensionals. Maybe. This card has no ribbon on it, no bling on it. Okay, the front is done. So here is for the inside. So I want to stamp these flowers. And I have one already done, but I I kind of, I colored it. It's kind of fun how I colored it. I want to show you how to do that. So I'm going to use Pacific Point for the flower. Do a few of those. Isn't that a pretty color? And then use this other stamp coordinates. Ooh, can I put it in there? No. Oh, maybe. It's creeping up a little high. Okay. So, do you know how to color the big flower? Let's start with the leaves. Funny how it colors just the bottom leaf. Okay, and then the flower, crushed curry. And as you get the stamp closer to the paper, it becomes into focus and you know right where to do the stamping. So when you look at this, it's like, okay, that's kind of cute. That'll be nice. But to apply color to these little flowers, I have a blender pen. Because this is Pacific Point ink and it's water soluble, if you take your blender pen, get it on the line art of the ink, it will kind of pick up a bit of the color from the stamp and it will drag it into the center and it will look like the stamp is like perfectly shaded and colored. 
So I'll do that with all of these, this, this little bud here, all of these flowers, they're now Pacific Point. Then you're like, well, it needs a little bit of green. I'm purposely not going to do them with the crushed curry on them, the yellow, because I want these to stand out. Okay, so empty off the ink. So now to apply just a little bit of green. Um, as with the, the large flowers, the green is only on the lower leaf, lower part of this leaf. When you're coloring it, if you get into the Pacific Point Blue line art, you will drag some of the blue into there, which can be nice. But I'm trying to avoid the blue line and just put the green in there. And you could just keep going on and coloring a whole lot of different parts of this, but I'm trying to keep it trying to keep it simple. Less is more. So how's that look? See, I have one done. It looks a little bit different. Same but different. So this will go right in the middle. This will go on the black liner for the inside of the card. And we just stick the black paper in there. So that is about it for this project. It's kind of easy, especially if you use the dies to cut out the flowers. At first I was hand cutting them. That took forever. I will put all the products used and paper cut sizes on my blog, which is jillybling.com. But what do you think? Simple, cute, really sweet. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, have a good one.